Hey everyone, Simon here with a review of Fuzzball. Fuzzball is a 1-4 to local multiplayer brawler available for PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. It's the PS4 version that you see on your screens and thank you very much for the developer for sending over a copy for a review. The game sees you take up one of six plushy toy animals that you will then take into arenas to battle with and the idea is to shove each other off the stage and last one standing wins. You do this for a variety of different uh, shove mechanics. So you roll around with your left analog stick um, and then you've got like a quick shove, which is handy to get yourself out of tight situations, like a mini boost almost in a way, because you can use that as a defensive tactic to avoid other people charging at you. And then you've got your big main charge boost, which you have to press and hold and aim. Obviously there's swings and roundabouts to this because if you time it right and you smack an opponent off, um, all well and good because then you are going to gain a point or well you're not going to lose a point so to speak and someone else is but obviously if you miss then there's a high chance that you could be flying off the edge of the stage as well. The stages are some of the best bits of Fuzzball because the seven stages all take on the aesthetic and gameplay element of different rooms of a house. So there's one on a kitchen table and there's a fan that turns on and off and that causes you to kind of blusterily blow in a certain direction and you need to account for that. There's a sink one where there's like a wave of water that will come over and that will quite happily knock you off the table, uh, knock you off like the draining board as well. Then there's my favourite one, the toilet level. Uh, and this is more because when you chuck someone down the toilet, there's a flush button. <laughs> and so you can then flush them down afterwards. And I think there's no way of saying better of saying game over than flushing someone down the loo. The controls handle relatively nicely. Um, it's a little bit like there's some light momentum that needs to be built up before you get up to full speed. So it's not like zippy, but there does feel like there's some consistent weight behind it. And that's perfectly fine. Outside of that, um, if you're playing on your own or if you're just playing two or three, you can add in competent AI competitors as well. And I really appreciate that for what is essentially a party game. And the AI play relatively well as well. But in the other modes, you've got a party mode where you compete either on your own or with friends to um, complete various missions and earn points. Points just basically mean a high score at the end. But what I found really interesting with this and to the other mode, which is flexible, which is where you have to work together to perform different feats. Very similar uh, in style. But you've got things like capture the flag, king of the hill, collect coins, all of that kind of stuff. It's all done in a cooperative nature, but none of this gameplay element is then added into the versus mode to give versus mode a much needed twist because it's really going to be the versus mode that you're going to play the most, because that's where the core mechanics of this game is strongest. But it could be broken up with a um, King of the Hill or area defense or things like that. It needed this kind of tweaking of the mechanics outside of just how many lives have you got and whether or not you can have some power ups on the screen. That's all that you can turn on or off. Um, so yeah, it kind of felt a bit like versus mode was lacking and that a lot of the stuff that I thought could have been really interesting in the party and flexible modes really should have been in the versus modes as well so that you can really have a longer more satisfying uh, local couch multiplayer experience. The other thing that I would say with Fuzzball that is going to be a real off-putter for me personally was the price. This game for me is a 7 dollars UK pounds game um, and on that kind of tier but it's been released at the 1599 bracket and I feel like that's double what you should really be paying for this. There's six uh, fuzzy toy animals they all handle and play the same. The seven stages are fine but it's just seven stages. The graphics aren't exactly going to be something that you like lavish and write home about but they don't need to be if the core mechanics are good and the core mechanics are good but they're not great to warrant that price point because there's not enough variety involved to keep you going. This is a pop it into your multiplayer rotation for a quick 10 minutes before you dive off to something where you're going to be like hard as nails on. This isn't a towerful beta by any way, shape or form. And it's not a deformers beta either. Um, and that's the key, is that deformers does this kind of game way way better and I know that those um, servers are offline and the game is effectively defunct now 
But that was a game that kind of sat around the exact same price point after release, when again it too noticed that it had come out as a £30 game when it should have been a, a £16 game. And I would still recommend that, even with servers shut off, over what Fuzzball does. Um, as well as something like Bombfest, which is this price at the 7 99 bracket again, um, and does the aesthetic and has way more different modes and much more going on with it with a very similar gameplay style. So yeah, I hope that was informative. Fuzzball, it's out now. It's a tentative recommendation for people who may click with this, but for almost everyone, I'd strongly recommend wait for a price drop on it because it just isn't worth it at its current price point. Thank you very much for watching. Written review will be over on higherplanegames.com. Until then, take care. Bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a collection of media projects ran by me. If you like what you see and want to find out more, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplane network. Your support can make so much more possible, be that a like, a comment, a share, or a pledge. Thanks for watching.